Hello everyone, my name is Pete and this, this is Swift and Tips. I wanted to show you a quick tip in case you are developing your Swift macro. As you know, or maybe you don't know, but I will just refer to you, I'm creating this sample builder that can generate um, an array of data from this same type for free uh, in case you are mm, requiring this information for your previews uh, or your unit testing, for example, uh, is something that, well, instead of just uh, writing this one by one, well, this Swift macro sample builder will generate that for you. But in order to make this, what I had to do was using a TDD approach. So for example, here, I have this test and I'm expecting this expansion. So one of the things that I have to do is going back to the implementation of this macro. And for example, uh, if I am expecting an struct, I have an struct declaration here. I put a breakpoint here and then I go back to the test, I run it. So now I'm capable to use the console to get the structure of this code, there you go, and then I grab all of this and using another file, I just copy paste this and now I'm capable to see what is the structure or the abstract syntax tree that is uh, capable to store uh, all the information about the syntax uh, for this piece of code. Um, but I mean, it's not bad, but I will show you a better way to do that. If you want to analyze what will be this syntax tree uh, right away, instead of doing this, which is not bad, I will show you this. So you can grab your code, okay? You copy your code, and then you go to this website, swift-ast-explorer.com. And look at that. Here we have an example. Let's, like, let me copy this code right away here. Okay. So here, as you can see here, we are capable to see the structure. Look at that. We have the same struct declaration. We have the attribute. There is the uh, sample builder uh, Swift macro that we generate. But here below, you can see the struct, you, you can see all the information about the struct. So the name, uh, the member block, which means what is the code inside, and uh, all the member declaration list, which is uh, c containing uh, all the properties and uh, functions. So in this case, I have two, just two properties, but look at that. We can simply identify all the structure for free. It's this pretty cool. And now, you can use all that information and in my case for example what i ha what i did is uh, generating let me stop this generating uh, the sample code once i got it so i grabbed the uh, valid parameters but you know i don't want to bore you but look at that i generate all the information understanding that i need a, a variable declaration syntax and I need a binding keyword or an static keyword, an identifier, and so on, so on. So uh, another thing you can you can use is, for example, if you're expecting this, you can grab again this code, you can go back, and you can just paste your result, and then you can understand. Okay, you will need a variable declaration list here. Uh, where is it? Yeah. It's here, for example, one of the members is a variable declaration. There is a static, uh, having a static modifier, uh, a bar, um, well, a binding list, etc., etc. So it's a cool way for you to, you know, debugging your Swift macro. And maybe, why not, other kind of applications related to uh, coding and parsing uh, your Swift code. Lastly, don't forget to support a creator which is Kichiwaka Katsumi. Kichiwaka Katsumi. Thank you very much for making this possible. It's so cool. All right, that's it for this episode.
Thank you so much and have a great day.